is coming directly off of one of Ryan Spence's film strips. Yeah, I know. Eh? <laughs> it's, it takes us back, doesn't it? Oh, man, it does. I mean, instantly, just the, the first couple of notes of that, uh, that simple piano theme song do instantly take so many of us back. And in fact, we're going to get to relive a big part of our childhood as Prime Video has announced the beginning of uh, a new original documentary based on the life of Ernie Coombs, a.k.a. Mr. Dress Up. Rob McCallum is uh, one of the executive producers from uh, Pyre Productions and joins us this morning. Rob, thank you so much for your time. Hey, thanks for having us, guys. And a quick question to you. What do we got to do to get that theme song to go hand in hand with our national anthem every day in schools and government agencies everywhere. It doesn't that pair perfectly. Oh man, it absolutely would. Well, I think, I think more, I dare say it. I'll probably get in trouble for this. More Canadians would have an emotional, like a, a deep reaction to that song than they would to the national anthem. It is just such, it's, it's that smiles. deep. Instant smiles and feel good way to start the day. Absolutely. Did you grow up with the show, Rob? I mean, I'm one of, four or five generations that had it as a staple. It was the show that taught me how to play, to use my imagination, to make the most of the resources around me. And, I mean, Mr. Dressup was everyone's friend, along with Casey and Finnegan and some of the other people that were there every day. So, yeah, yeah Mr. Dressup was kind of real world for me, even though he was on the TV. So, I mean, this this is a show and a man. I don't think you can separate the two that that hold a very special place, as we said, for a lot of Canadians. Do you feel the pressure? I mean, is there a pressure to live up to the expectations of those adults like me who now look back and grew up with Mr. Dressup? I think pressure is like the, the antithesis of anything that comes with Mr. Dress Up, right? <laughs> yeah. It's the least pressure-ridden show, and I mean, there are certainly expectations that you got to do something like this justice. But when you think about all the things that make Mr. Dress Up great and resonate and all the things that we want to talk about, it's all, it's all pure fun, bliss, patience, imagination, and you can never go wrong when discussing these things, let alone in the context of something that touches all of us in a unique way. So patience kindness, imagination. I mean, those are great words to use to describe the show, but I feel like those are w words that you would use to describe Ernie Coombs as well. So, uh, but Ernie died in 2001 and I mean, obviously he can't be a, a part of the documentary himself. So how, how do you plan to get his perspective and, and learn more about Ernie? Well, you're right. There's a very thin line between uh, the man, Ernie Coombs, and the character, Mr. Dress Up. But as we, you know, roll out the film and, and structure it, we'll be talking to family members, of course, I'm sure. We'll be approaching a lot of people that worked on the show, including some close personal friends as well. And when you have that coupled with archival footage, you're going to get a real close idea of what, uh, you know, what the philosophies and beliefs were, not only Ernie, but the other people that made the show possible. Ernie is obviously the titular character, the face of the show that we all immediately identify with, but he had a whole support team around him as well that made the show what it is. Yeah, and I think one of the most fascinating parts of the the evolution of the show and of, of the man was, was his origins. Uh, how far back do you go? To the beginning, 1927. How else can you start a story unless you start at the beginning? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so well, I mean, 1927 in Maine, and of course his his journey takes him all the way through to the to the uh, American military, of course, uh, and then he obviously has a faithful meet up with Fred Rogers. And my favorite part of the Ernie Coombs story specifically is that fateful drive that they take to Toronto together to start uh, the original Mister Rogers show in the early 60s. Both men would eventually go on to conquer children's television on each side of the border and really set the foundation for what it meant to value children's emotional agencies as a result. Yeah. And I think it's interesting that, uh, that you note that too, because uh, you know how they kind of, they, they conquered children's television, as you say, on, on individual sides of the border. So the documentary um, will be released exclusively on prime video worldwide. So how do you, or, or do you even expect to create something that can appeal to people outside of Canada? Well, like those things we talked about, kindness, patience, imagination, those are universal in every single culture. It does help when you have uh, these American influences come in for people to have a better reference. A lot of people in America don't know Mr. Dressup. It's kind of our best Canadian 
you know, secret. It's like, well, what's Mr. Dress? It's like, oh, well, you had to know. You had to be there. Like, we don't have many of those things that the world doesn't know about, right? Like, Mm -hmm. everybody knows Wayne Gretzky. Everybody knows Brian Adams. But not everybody knows Mr. Dress up outside of our border. So these American influences and other global influences definitely help paint a picture. But I think just understanding how Canadians came to be with influences like Mr. Dressup is of, of global appeal. So uh, Amazon just making this announcement this uh, past week, but what what stage is the production at right now for you, Rob? Well, we've been researching and developing it, you know, for a little while now. Uh, Amazon has been completely supportive coming in to make sure that we knew everything we had to have in place and make sure we had the resources to do it. And so when they announced the, the green light, it's, it's full steam ahead. So... <laughs> Yeah. Let's get going and let's open that tickle trunk and see what we find. So you described, and I, I think most of us believe, that there was that thin line separating Ernie Coombs from his character, from Mr. Dress Up. In the initial research you've done, and I think this is the most fascinating part for me, is learning about what kind of man he was when the cameras were off. How thin was that line? Razor, razor thin. I mean, he might... You know, on, on camera, he's always talking to the viewer. He's always, you know, engaging with you. But at home, he might put his feet up and read the paper, listen to the radio or something like yeah. that. But when you engage with him, he's the same warm person. Um, there's there's tales of, you know, him being constantly greeted in public and never shying away, always having time, either a handshake, a hug or an autograph. He always made time for people. And isn't that what we wish we all had in our world, especially as a child? Un, you know, unfettered attention from a, from a grown-up who just made time no matter what. No kidding. Absolutely. Well, we're all looking forward to, uh, to seeing this. I know I am. What's the timeline for this, Rob? When do we expect to have this released? Well, a lot of that is out of my hands. I mean, I am just the writer, director, and I think that is executive <laughs> producer. But Amazon, you know, they're, they're pretty smart folks, and I have complete trust in how they want to roll out the release of it. So we're targeting sometime in 2023, to my understanding. Um, It could be around some sort of dress-up key date. It could be around something that they just feel is a really good Canadian moment. Hmm. Either way, it's going to be worth the wait, and I can't wait to share the the story of Mr. Dress-Up with not only Canada, but the entire world for the very first time. Absolutely. Well, Rob, as I said, we're looking forward to it. And again, appreciate you uh, chatting with us this morning. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. And I hope everybody out there doesn't uh, hesitate to, especially for this month, take some time and do some dressing up. You got it. I'm going to build my own tickle trunk. Thanks again, Rob. <laughs> Cheers. Rob McCallum is, as he said, Rob, writer, director, and uh, executive producer from uh, Pyre Productions, one of the companies involved in this uh, creation of an uh, original Canadian Amazon documentary based on the life and the career of Ernie Coombs, a.k.a. Mr. Dress Up. Yes, as he said, set for release at some point in 2023. It is 729. Tamara Thornton is standing by with your 730 News.